Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your benzoyl peroxide cleanser, GLO cream and niacinamide serum. Now I want to cover both treatments depending on the benzoyl peroxide product you have at home so that you have an example routine in mind. Although I know based on the comments that the most confusing part is that you may not know what the order of application would look like if you have a benzoyl peroxide GLO cream. Now I'm going to cover this and I'm going to go through this step by step. As always, I have prepared for you everything in a PowerPoint which I want to use as a guide but you will be able to find this PowerPoint in the description box down below you just need to click on the link. Now we are going to get started with the benzoyl peroxide cleanser and niacinamide zone which you can see right here. So for the morning skincare routine keeping the main focus only on those treatments and the most popular treatments so that you can hopefully relate to them uh, more so it could of course be exchanged to any other benzoyl peroxide cleanser you may have at home, gel or cream as well as niacinamide zone. It won't change in that sense to order of application. So for the morning example skincare routine, you can see on the top corner the time of use, below that the example routine, below that the overall general guide of how you would use the individual products. This setup is going to stay the same for all my example routines. So you're starting off with your favorite benzoyl peroxide cleanser, here are just some examples, to wash your face and treat your acne. Now with benzoyl peroxide, it can bleach fabric, it can, like, this can be butt sheets, this can be toes, this can be clothes. So you really have to be careful that when working with a benzoyl peroxide cleanser to properly take it off the skin, so properly rinse everything off. And when working with a washcloth or towel, make sure that it's either an old one, so where you do not mind that it gets bleached, or you're working with white fabric, so they cannot get bleached in the first place. So those would be my suggestions. Then you're going to take a towel, gently pat all over, to remove the excess water from the skin surface and then head into your niacinamide serum. Once you have applied your niacinamide serum to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And then once the serum has absorbed into the skin, you can move on to your sunscreen application. This is extremely important because benzoyl peroxide can irritate the skin, therefore makes the skin a bit more sensitive. So if you have sun exposure, sunscreen is extremely important. Please don't forget this. If you want to see a specific application guide on how you can use your benzoyl peroxide cleanser, I have an entire playlist for you in the top right corner. Then when it comes to the evening skincare routine, it's going to look pretty much the same. Just instead of your sunscreen as your last step, you can use a moisturizer instead. If dryness should occur, then you can use it evenly all over. Now when it comes to the cleansing step, you can see that here something has changed a bit. And your benzoyl peroxide cleanser is able to remove excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin, but it cannot properly remove sunscreen and makeup. So if you have one sunscreen and makeup throughout the day, my suggestion would be using an oil or balm cleanser as your first cleansing step to take this properly off the skin and then treat your acne with your benzoyl peroxide cleanser. So it isn't as aggressive as if you would use a regular cleanser beforehand, therefore I went with an oil or balm cleanser which even helps to hydrate the skin to some extent as well, it's very gentle on the skin and then move on to your benzoyl peroxide cleanser. And then again after that you can follow with your niacinamide serum and then your moisturizer. Now your niacinamide serum can be used daily in the morning and or evening. For most of you, it shouldn't be an issue. Of course, you can always narrow it down to only once per day or every other day, depending on how well your skin is going to respond to your niacinamide serum. But when it comes to your benzoyl peroxide cleanser, this is where the frequency can change quite dramatically, depending on your overall skin tolerance, the strength and formulation that you have picked. And um, the way on how I like to work with benzoyl peroxide cleanser is by mainly using it during the time where I'm experiencing acne flare-ups. If I'm not having any acne, I'm not really into using a benzoyl peroxide cleanser. I like to give my skin some rest. So you will find a frequency guide below the example routine as well, so that you have an idea of how you can get started and how you can adjust it based on what your skin needs and is able to tolerate. Now, what are you going to do on the days when not working with your benzoyl peroxide cleanser and or niacinamide serum? Well, it's completely fine to give your skin some rest. So this is where you just would exchange your benzoyl peroxide cleanser with a regular cleanser that's suitable for your skin type. And then still during daytime, if you have sun exposure, follow with your sunscreen. Whereas in the evening, again, 
You may want to do a double cleanse. You do not necessarily have to, depending on how well your regular cleanse is able to take off your sunscreen and or makeup. But still, you would work and exchange your benzoyl peroxide cleanser with a regular cleanser and then follow on with your moisturizer if you should feel the need, if dryness occurs. So this is what you then can do. You could also still follow this routine and place your niacinamide serum in the middle if you like to and you just want to give your skin a break of your benzoyl peroxide cleanser. That's fine too. You can adjust it. But I want to share with you the alternative as well on how you can balance it out with your regular cleanser too. Now this would be the major part when it comes to benzoyl peroxide cleansers and your niacinamide serum. Now I went ahead into the benzoyl peroxide gel or cream and how you're going to layer it with your niacinamide serum. Now let's get started with an example morning skincare routine. So and here you can see what the example morning skincare routine is going to look like when working with a benzoyl peroxide gel or cream. This is going to be the order of application. Now you're starting off with washing your face using a regular cleanser that's working well for your skin type. After that, you have rinsed it off, pat the skin dry, so remove the excess water from the skin surface. You're going to head into your niacinamide serum. And then after that, you're going to follow on to your benzoyl peroxide gel. Now, with benzoyl peroxide, there are some ingredients that can oxidize when using it in combination with your benzoyl peroxide. But this is not known when it comes to niacinamide. So you could theoretically layer it immediately afterwards, but if you're concerned about it, you can always wait a couple of minutes in between. So wait for your niacinamide to fully absorb into the skin to kind of set as well before applying your benzoyl peroxide gel afterwards. So that it's not going to interact with one another if that's one of your concerns. Also, I highly recommend using the benzoyl peroxide gel after your niacinamide zone because usually a gel um, kind of leaves a light layer on the skin surface, whereas a niacinamide zone usually absorbs into the skin. So therefore, based on the feeling and how you would then layer the products to not come across any peeling issues, for example, I suggest using the niacinamide zone before applying your benzoyl peroxide gel. If you should have a benzoyl peroxide cream, you're going to use it after your niacinamide serum for sure. And then once you have applied your benzoyl peroxide gel or cream to the skin, again, give it a few minutes in between so that it can set, somewhat absorb into the skin before applying your sunscreen afterwards. Again, if you're going to apply it too soon afterwards and it has not yet absorbed into the skin set itself, it may interact with benzoyl peroxide. I'm not 100% sure of this. Uh, I couldn't find really any research on that. So therefore, I always recommend waiting like a few minutes in in between before moving on to the next application step when working with a leave-on benzoyl peroxide product. But nonetheless, this would be then the order of application that you can follow in the morning. Now again, you have the overall general guide below based on how much you would use of your zone, benzoyl peroxide gel, what's important to keep in mind when working with benzoyl peroxide and the frequency. Then when it comes to the evening skincare routine, again, you're working with your regular cleanser in the evening, or you may want to do a double cleanse. Depending on the sunscreen as well as makeup that you have worn throughout the day, you want to make sure that it's going to properly take it off. And then you're heading into your regular cleanser if you want to do the double cleanse. Nonetheless, you want to make sure in the evening that you can properly wash your face before applying your treatments. After that, again, you're moving on to your niacinamide serum. Wait a few minutes in between, head into your benzoyl peroxide gel or cream, wait a bit in between, and then if you still should feel the need, you can follow with your moisturizer afterwards. Now, what's important to emphasize in the evening when working with a benzoyl peroxide, like leave-on treatment, such as a gel or cream, because benzoyl peroxide tends to bleach fabric, you really have to be careful with your bed sheets. Um, or with your pillows in general. So if you are concerned about it, which I highly recommend um, like that you are, because when sleeping, you cannot control how you're going to like roll at night. So if you're, for example, sleeping on your stomach and you have your face on your pillow, then you may see some bleaching like areas because the benzoyl peroxide just transferred it to your pillow. So in that sense, I highly recommend using like white towels that you're going to cover on your pillow, on your bed sheets, 
to some part where you're going to move around so that you're not going to bleach your diet like butt sheet or pillow if those are your beloved ones. So therefore, please make sure that you're going to protect any fabric um, so that it's not going to bleach it and use white toes or old toes in that sense so where you do not mind it. And then this would solve the problem if you're going to use your benzoyl peroxide, a gel or cream in the evening. I do want to really emphasize it because that's one of the concerns that can arise. Now again, uh, when it comes to your benzoyl peroxide leave-on treatment, you may not be able to tolerate it twice per day daily, so you can adjust it. I do have the frequency right here on how you can get started. You can start off by using it two to three times per week, then slowly adjust it by using it more often if you feel the need to. Um, you can also use it just once per day or every other day. So you really need to adjust it and see what strength and tolerance your skin has when working with benzoyl peroxide, or as I already mentioned, mentioned earlier with the cleansers, you're just going to use your benzoyl peroxide if you experience acne flare-ups. And if you, your skin is clear, you do not have any acne flare-ups at all, well then give your skin a break. It's quite healthy to like uh, give your skin some breaks in between uh, and not using your benzoyl peroxide. So what are you going to do on the days when not using your niacinamide and or benzoyl peroxide? So again, you're going to use your regular cleanser in the morning, your sunscreen to protect the skin. You could, again, in the middle, include your niacinamide serum if you still want to continue using that one. But if you want to give it a break from all, like from both treatments, this would be then example morning routine. And as for the evening routine, it's again your cleansing step and then moisturizer. But again, it wouldn't be wrong to use your niacinamide in between. But that would be the entire setup of how you can work with a benzoyl peroxide cleanser, gel or cream, as well as your niacinamide serum. Now, I want to quickly emphasize that if you want to look into one of the uh, example products that I have emphasized in my example routines, you will be able to find this under skincare product descriptions. There you will find all the products that I have picked with a description next to it, what it can do for you, uh, for whom it is suitable, so that you then can make your choice if you want to look into this. Those are also products that I have used myself. And so below that, you will find a general skincare tips guide, such as uh, how you can do a patch test. So if you're being new to benzoyl peroxide, this would be a great way to get started with a patch test so that you can see how your skin is going to react to it before using it all over certain larger areas. Then below that, you will find the sunscreen guide, including how you can properly apply it to the skin and the removal guide. So you will find everything in the entire PowerPoint that I have prepared for you. Now, of course, if you want to see you know, the individual application videos of niacinamide, benzoyl peroxide, sunscreen, and how you can properly remove it, I have those videos on my channel. I'm going to leave some of them at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching, that you can see it in action. And if you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you want to support my work, you want to support my channel, then you can go ahead and leave a tip by either clicking on the super thanks button below this video or check the description box down below. There you will find a PayPal link. And already thank you so much in advance. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I do hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.